Hey guys, my name is Micah. We're out here at Overland Expo 2021. I'm at the Dometic booth and I've got my DIY kind of creation here at the booth. It's a 2001 Toyota Tacoma with a bunch of just garage kind of shop work. And uh, yeah, we'll take you for a little spin. I'll kind of show you what it's about and we'll look at a couple of the features we built in. So come check it out. All right, so basics is it's 2001 Toyota Tacoma, bought it bone stock, 208,000 miles on it. It now has got 250. Um, it's on 33s, just a simple about two inch, three inch lift in the back. Um, I do have airbags now. Front bumper is a coastal off-road uh, self-weld kit. Do you have a winch in there, onboard air, and it does have front and rear lockers with a factory rear locker and a air locker in the front. But besides that, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the dash and I want to show you something cool that I did with the touchscreen retrofit. So one of the things about these older trucks that's both good and bad is one, they're really small, which is good on the trails. Two, uh, it's not super comfortable uh, on long highways. So I wanted to kind of make the cockpit of the truck a little more comfortable or do what I could. So right now it's rocking uh, seats from a Mercedes out of, a, um, of an ML300. Uh, Craigslist deal, just custom fit them, and then I also have a 10-inch touchscreen with a homemade piece of aluminum that replaces the dash, wrapped it in leather, and it houses all my switches, which allow me to do like roof lights, onboard air, surround lights, and uh, just all my accessories and stuff. So that's been like a pretty good game changer for road trips because now I've got Google Maps, I've got Apple CarPlay, all that kind of stuff. So kind of stoked on that it makes the interior like that much nicer so that was one of my favorite favorite mods of course being at Dometic we've got room for the fridge I have their uh, CFX 35 in here which has been awesome if you have a tiny car like this or first gen Tacoma this uh, fridge is probably the best one I can think of size wise you just don't take up too much space but it's got plenty of room for you know three or four days on the road uh, depending on how you pack, it's been really good for me. And I just have it powered with a uh, battery pack and a portable solar panel, which is on the roof. So that's been working really good. And that uh, seat, like semi-seat delete, it's totally removable. It's just a piece of plywood, carpet over the top, bolts in, bolts out, and uh, you can have full seats back if you want. So yeah, that was kind of a fun little project as well. Rock sliders. That was my first welding project. <laughs> so basically I had the truck um, for about a year and a half and um, had it just with the classic camper shell and I was sleeping in the back of the camper shell and it worked fine for me on trips. It, you know, it was just enough to squeeze in there if I went diagonal and I had like a DIY platform. But after a while I just really wanted to have more space and be able to bring like a friend or my brother or my wife. So I really wanted to try and do something that could create that space. So that's how I came up with this. Um, which is like the latest thing I've done on it. And it's a full standalone flatbed tray on its own and then a removable camper that goes on the back and allows me to sleep. Uh, it's a 6'6 six, six inside, uh, basically like a uh, queen size bed. And you can sleep with it closed or you can sleep with it open and uh, totally weatherproof and stuff. So that's been awesome. I just kind of just finished that up. So that's kind of the main thing I've been doing for the last five months <laughs> in the garage. So one of the things that uh, was most fun to design was this removable storage. I knew I wanted the flatbed to be high enough to allow the wheels to have the factory up travel because I still want to take this on trails. So I wanted to take advantage of creating that space and have some watertight storage. I wasn't really sure what I was going to be putting in it, but just wanted to make sure I created that space. So I came up with this, which allows the uh, Pelican case to tuck away and then come fully out and then also fully open. So you could do drawer slides, but you wouldn't be able to get this case far enough out to be able to open the lid like this. And then the other thing I wanted to make sure was since I lost some space by doing a hard case instead of like a aluminum box, was that I wanted to make sure this was still removable. So this totally comes out. You could swap it out, bring it inside or whatever you need to do. And then it just goes right back. So. Kind of one of my favorite things about the truck. <laughs> so for suspension, actually I have a stock Tacoma leaf pack in there and then I Craigslisted another leaf pack for the same truck and basically multiplied the leaf. So instead of going from long, medium, short, I cut up the old leaf pack and added it to it. Now it goes long, a little less long, medium, a little shorter and totally short. So it just kind of adds more support. 
and that'll hold the flatbed just fine. Uh, but it is a lot more sway now with uh, no sway bar in the front and the higher weight of the camper. So I added airbags and I can turn those up and when I'm on the road, eliminate the sway. But I also built in a system where I can isolate left and right bags with this, fill them either individually or open them together. So they're tied together. And then also there's a switch back there that lets me open them completely. So even if you have no air in there when you're on a trail and you gotta up travel, uh, the air is coming right out, it's not building pressure. And the airbags are also on cradles. So you get uh, unlimited down travel. And then when you open that up, it's kind of just like having a big bump stop and uh, you're able to maintain that up travel too. So yeah, it's another little detail. Onboard air, of course, fills it up. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's tons of details, but that's the gist of it. Just kind of like a little adventure track. I could take last minute, show up three in the morning, could be raining, could be, 50 mile an hour winds and I can still sleep in that with it closed, totally comfortable out of the elements and uh, that was kind of my goal. So I've been really happy with it so far. I basically just finished it to this amount the last few weeks and excited to, uh, to be getting out on some trips and getting to use it. All right guys, thanks for taking the time to check out my project. If you are interested in more details, I go into a ton of detail on my own channel and Instagram account where I've kind of documented how this goes. And if you search Overland under budget online, it'll pull up my website, my Instagram, and also my YouTube channel, all the same name and uh, lots of details there. So definitely feel free to reach out, take a look. And uh, if you have any questions, send me an email or something and I might be able to get back to you. So yeah, thanks for taking the time and checking out the truck.